What it do, people? It's your boy Ace of Spade, and you are tuned in to the P Town Media Show. On this show, we're gonna keep you locked in with some dope music videos, some cool video clips, and you already know we're gonna keep you laced up for a little bit of food porn. So don't y'all go nowhere. It's the P Town Media Show. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Peak Time Media Show. And I'm your host, Ace of Spade. And you know we got a dope one locked in for y'all. If this is your first time tuning into the show. It's a variety show. So we got a little bit of everything for you coming from the town of Portland, right? We got some music videos, some dope funny clips, some sports, food porn, and a little bit of everything. All reasons why you should tune into this show every two weeks. Like, subscribe, and make sure you follow what we got going on. All right. What I'm working today, laced up. Laced Up is a program put together by Mighty, who is a music artist right here in Portland. Shout out to you, Mighty. Make sure y'all donate to the program. Go find out about it on Facebook, but I'll give you a little, little something about it, all right? Laced Up is an opportunity for us to be able to donate some of our kicks and shoes that we really don't wear that much, that are in good, clean condition, new or slightly used, that we can wipe down and make them look really good for the kids, all right? This is what it's about, all right? So this is the second year I believe Mighty done it, and next year we're donating again, and we're also sponsoring again, so that means it's gonna be even bigger and even better. All reasons why y'all support Laced Up, all right? So go to Facebook, look up Laced Up PDX, find out more information. If you don't know, go look up Mighty, and he'll tell you some information about the program, how you can get involved, and how you can do your thing to support these kids just as well, all right? So check it out. We got some dope music videos for y'all. So I need y'all to keep it locked right here. We got the lifesavers. We got Tony Hill. And if you don't know who Liv Warfield is, oh, you're going to learn today. Got a dope, dope performance from Liv Warfield from back, eh, not too far back, maybe a couple years ago. But it's still a dope performance, man. And if you don't know who she is, your kids got to learn. Your da young daughters got to learn because she's a wonderful singer. And she might even inspire somebody. You know what I mean? So anyway, y'all keep it locked right here at P-Town Media Show. Don't go nowhere. Be right back. By the way, the song is called The Warning. <laughs> <laughs> Raise a tongue, wake a dead man's ransom with this grand funk. Protect your top position on any MLK, he shall overcome. Inhale, you design your lungs, verbal clap over soul and drums. Holding something, he become as Rashid. Perfect the style that he become. Nasty, simplex is simply complicated. Brothers' brains is braided to booty rims and text. Let's bet Vegas, he's got your meal ticket. This bizarre sitar, black licorice spit. Use hypnotist, mind control, crime patrol. Hustle cast, how about some hardcore? That's Mo P in the middle of MC. More M16, verse more NPC. More mid range, more with more bass, more EQ. The warning, now we need a little more tweet. Now, what's that rhythm? What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that sound? What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that rhythm? What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that sound? What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that sound? Shut up and take it on verse, hex the curse, gotta come play. History repeats and the beat took form on Bloody Sunday. Boast the post era, Eminem of the sneaky. I didn't dare to be great, I dare greatness to be me. Fly, never brand, never. Never would I, never heard of your ducks I'm Bumpy Johnson in a derby and tux Globe and zone coasting Bad boys yeah. moving silence and I mastered Marcel My soul's motion Shape shift and draw blood in 3D diagram Step up time man's worse, demise worse First man on earth to surf tsunami side sound waves Chase the greatness, clown
the, the grounds laid. laid. Chaps right off and tap dance to Chippendales. Yeah. You yeah. can't count me in bars, black. I, I spit, spit prison cells. Sworn to launch missiles from loose lease nightly. And if that ain't the truth, made a mark of the beast, bite me. Doctor kill patient. Yeah. I make wax figures to whack yeah. and put them in a box below my basement. Those pit stop remedies will shine my class by silhouette and Hitchcock imagery. Commit the Da Vinci Code to memory. I sleep between life and death and can't decide who's the enemy. So now I have my claps and hand out aneurysms. Young and begging the prophecy. Didn't see it coming, it's the warning. What's that rhythm? What's that? What's that sound? What's that rhythm? What's that? What's that? What's that sound? What's that? What's that? What's that rhythm? What's that? What's that sound? What's that? What's that? What's that rhythm? What's that? 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 Warning. So this is the warning known as the caution. Feel it, love. 
Y'all, we back, and I hope you enjoyed those music videos like I said. I told you it was off the chain. At this particular moment, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors. All right, Myru Vodka. This is vodka made smoother. All right, this is a Portland brand vodka that you can find on Facebook that you can like, follow, and subscribe to, as well as Resk Whiskey. Everybody don't like the light, so they can go to the dark. All right, so we got the Resk Whiskey right here. You can also find them on Facebook. So make sure you like and subscribe to both of these. Must be 21 and older to drink. And make sure you drink responsibly. Especially since the holidays coming up. Won't well, need nobody acting crazy. Alright. So with that being said, we got to get to some food porn. We got some dope food carts up here in Portland, man, that y'all got to know to learn a little bit of something about. Alright. So here we go. Check a look. Yo, this your boy Portland George, man. And you tuned in to the PTM Media Show. Check it out. Now. Yeah. First things first is clear the air out. This is not a diss, man. I'm just venting now. Just trying to get everything I'm thinking out. Maybe do some consecrate and get my demons out. I lived a fast life. God slowed it down. Got me slowing down my life with all this fasting now. Eating daily bread when I'm hungry now. Sipping holy water just to chase it down. Ahead to the throne, I'm the hunted now. The devil, he a dog, that's a basset hound. The devil getting crafty, using family now. And I ain't talking relatives, I'm talking Christians now. Uh, now we going at each other now. Trying to prove to the world who's the wrongest now. Uh, everybody switching sides now. When you was in the hood, that got you laid down. Uh, it's different politics now. Politics amongst the wolves to kill the sheep now. Uh, holiness ain't the goal now. I guess the goal now is to bring each other down. Yeah. Incorrectly teaching Babel now. Babel didn't happen to divide now. Babel took place due to pride now. They try to equal God, you think you got now. Uh, so busy building towers now. That we don't recognize when God visits now. His presence still lives up in the temple now. His presence is a present, you ain't present now. His presence omnipresent, you can't hide now. And you can only lie until they find out Truth be told, I'm sick of all the lies now Every hurt ain't from the church, that's mostly pride now Yeah, it's people really hurting now Dealing with some issues I won't talk about uh, Matter of fact, let me talk about Alright y'all, follow me In this particular tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make your own barbecue burnt ends Real good, check it out First thing you're gonna do is trim off the excess skin and fat off of the ribs, you know what I mean? Once you flip them bad boys over, you're going to slice them up real good and cut them up in the cubes. Now, you don't want them too thick, and you don't want them too small, you know what I mean? I think this is the perfect size. Now you're going to cover it up with some olive oil. You know what I mean? Then add your favorite cup of dry rub up on there, season them up real nice. 
Now you gonna line them up on the wire rack. Yeah. Set your smoker to 250 degrees. And let's place them bad boys up in there for about three hours. Now once they're looking good, nice and cooked and grilled, you wanna take them off of there and you wanna put them into an aluminum tray. Alright, you wanna add a cup of some barbecue sauce. Now add about four tablespoons of butter up in there and add two tablespoons of some honey. Because it's hot, it's just gonna melt that butter, so just mix, mix it up real good. Now add some foil on it, and you're gonna place that back into the grill for about another 90 minutes. And that's gonna make them real nice and tender, you know what I mean? Now you want to uncover it and cook it for another 15 minutes, and that's going to put that caramelized effect all over them ribs. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, you all set. I like that. Listen, man. Nice. Trap Kitchen the best. You feel me? Fat Boy SSC shit. I love Trap Kitchen. Thank you. Appreciate y'all, man. Love forever, man. Don't go down there. This shit rocking. Is that going to Throwbacks. You just heard that joint upset for Fat Boy SSE, and in the building right now we got the man himself. What's up with you, bro? What's up? How you feeling? Good. So you out here in Portland? Yeah. How long you been out here? Two days. You like it? Yes. You hit Nike? Yes. Adidas? No. <laughs> we gotta get you passes or something. Word. For the listeners just now tuning in, man, I know you've been doing your thing on Instagram. Uh, Think what you on TV too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which what is it? Revolt. Revolt. Yeah. MTV. MTV. Everything. I got up. my own TV station too. Okay. What's that one? Bad Boy Network. Okay. Woke up early, feeling like 22. Made history, killing like 23. I'm on some God like, feeling like Jesus did. I fed the city and I did it with one fish. I'm a big fish swimming in a small pond. Open up the floodgate just to put the city on it. Philanthropists thinking how to share wealth. I'm talking legacy, it's more than the trophy shelf. You think it's short term, really only rap life? I'm talking decades, it's culture in my rap life. Movements modest. Move. The closet PDX just restocked. You know what I mean? We got the crop hoodies in here. You know what I mean? For the girls, white crop hoodie, new joint. Come down here and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Mannequin down the arms. We all the way stocked up over here at the closet, man. We got all the crop hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Body suits. Crop hoodies. All sizes. You know what I mean? Slide on down. And we also restocked the hoodies and the joggers. You know what I'm saying? So come on down. You know what I'm saying? 2706 Northeast Sandy Boulevard. The Closet PDX. We got all our new joints in here, you know what I'm saying? Nice little black mannequin section in the back. Come and get right, man. We got it all. We got it all, man. Come get right. The time is here. The time is now. B-Town Media proudly presents exclusive interviews only on the B-Town Media Show. This is Javen Harper, and you know it, with P-Town Media, with the P-Town Media Show. Today, we have Shad, Sia, Highness in the building. How you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Thank you. I appreciate it so much being able to do this interview. I know you're busy. Um, you have, your staff is actually getting set up for tonight. We'll talk about that and get a little bit into that a little bit later on. Man, so, so tell me what's been going on with you. Um, what you got working on right now in the mix? Uh, right now, man, I'm working on this uh, Alabama tour, man. I call it uh, South for the Winter. Okay. Um, working on that. I'm going to do about four or five shows in Alabama. That's my home state. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back, show a little love. Um, I'm also working on a tour here. Uh, working with a few venues in the city, uh, Chinatown, uh, across the bridge as well. Okay. Um, just, you know, setting up a few shows. I'm going to start back performing again. So just trying to uh, make it happen. I like that, I like that, man. So let's just dig a little bit deeper. Okay. Uh, tell us, tell me, tell the viewers on the P-Town Media Show, when does your music career begin? Uh, I said my music career began about two years ago. 
about 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 two years ago, I started taking it serious. Um, when I say uh, I say a full time rapper, that's when I you know made that decision to you know go big or go home. Okay. How did you know that like you really wanted to do music? Like, was there something that happened in your life? Was there an epiphany? Did you hear something you got inspired, and you was like, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna take this music seriously. This is my calling. This is what I want to do. What kind of spoke to you to let you know that music was your lane? Well, coming up, man, you know, I grew up in the church. You know, I grew up okay. Baptist. You know, I used to lead songs in the choir and shit. So um, things, uh, you know, led. I, I always been used to performing in front of people. Okay. Um, you know, I used to like the reaction you get. You know, sometimes the old ladies used to shout and stuff. You know, I just I appreciate that reaction. So you know, that kind of. That uh, knowing that you can move people and just you know expressing yourself uh, is is is, is kind of what got me with the music, you know. How would you describe your your, mu your musical style? Uh, my musical style, um, I call it trap rock. Um, so me trap rock. Trap rock. I like that. <laughs> well, well, well uh, trap is uh, you know talking about you know coming out of poverty, you know, and then initially um, the rock part of it. It's just, you know, the lifestyle aspect of it. Um, kind of just, you know, these days it's all about living what you're talking about. You get what I'm saying? So uh, the rock part of it is kind of, you know, a love and let live type mentality about it. So the trap rock is kind of, uh, I like to say, uh, me teaching and expressing how I got out of poverty. So I like to share that with other people. Right, right. Man, you got a lot of videos out, man. I've been, uh, I've been checking you out. You know, the one of my favorites that I like is the one, Narcotics. Okay. Uh, that's okay. a pretty, pretty, pretty dope video. Okay. Um, who, who, who produced that, by the way? Uh, Uber Narcotics, my big brother, Preston. Okay. Shout out, shout out. Very yeah. well done. Very talented. Yeah. Uh, that's you. one of my favorite videos. I like the breakdown. Yeah. I like the storyline in it. It's, it's okay. a good storyline. Okay. If you guys have it, make sure you catch his videos on YouTube. Uber Let them know where they can find you out on YouTube. Uh, shout out to your highness. Type it in. S H A A D C Y A. Highness. All platforms, this man is on Spotify. You can find the majority of his music there. But let's let's move on because I know a little bit about you. I, I know that you're quite the entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, we had talked a little bit before. I, I know that you're uh, a big fan of uh, being open to investment opportunities, always mm -hmm. expanding your brain and business. Is there anything to, that we should see from you as far as on the business tip outside of your creative realm? On the business tip outside, um, I'm working on a uh, 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 umbrella company, as you, okay. as, the, as they call it, um, called the Cure. Um, it's kind of where I'm going to have everything under merchandise, mm -hmm. uh, products, uh, anything that I may be launching. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put underneath that the label and all. Okay, and I like that because that leads me to the next thing. Um, a lot of people don't know, but you also have created a, a platform with the venues where people can showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. Could you speak to that tonight? Uh, matter of fact, you got something going on tonight. Correct. Um, I am a part of a collective called The Brand. Mm -hmm. um, it consists of uh, myself, uh, Sarah G of uh, We693. Cool people, it's cool people. Um, Ricky, um, he's our video guy. Okay, okay. Uh, Marvin, um, he's the uh, cool executive guy sponsor. Correct, correct. Um, Y'all good team here, man. Yen. Oh, yeah. You got, oh, you, got, yeah. you got your team in the building. Oh, yeah. Yen, um, she's our administrator. And yeah. Paola, uh, she, she take care of our social media. Right. So, you know, as a team, you know, everybody does their part, and we just try to deliver. And, you know, as a as a collective, we, you know, we get the job done. I like that. Uh, if you guys didn't hear that, that was a nugget. Um, when you're launching your business or in this industry, you have a team. Um, everybody plays a hand, and everybody is, is contributing to, to the mission. And I like that you just spoke to that, that everybody has their role, everybody yeah. knows, and everybody's on the same page as far as pushing the mission up. And Correct. I think that was really huge, because a lot of people try to go out in the industry, first thing they do is try to do it all on their own. Oh, yeah. uh, in some situations, you're forced to do that. But if you're bumping uh, elbows, kissing babies, shaking hands, and you bump with the right people to have the right energy, iron sharpers iron, exactly. we can do some things together and push each other up. And so I think that was very huge. I hope people got that. Listen, oh, yeah. that was very huge. So tell us a little bit more about how people can get exposure through uh, the through the brand and what you guys got going on at the Fortune. Um, as, as long as they have a following um, in the city and they, they active, working, um, social, 
social media presence, uh -huh. um, they have a chance, they have a shot. You okay. know, uh, we review we review all content. Okay. Um, and you know, as a, as a group, we make a decision on okay. know, if we want to bring them out. We have an opening artist. Okay. And we have a main act. Okay. Um, every That's third cool. Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, so and um, it's, it, since up till now, um, the venue has been fortunate. Uh -huh. um, they, we we uh, kind of got a part of that remodeling process. Okay. Um, so we kind of the brand kind of opened up with that. You know? <laughs> Um, you know, we appreciate the opportunity that was given, okay. you know, and we was able to take advantage. Okay. So, um, um, now with the person showcasing and being actually being selected and showcasing, are there any additional perks or things that come along with that, um, with the oh, performing, yes. performing and, and being um, with the organization? Um, I mean, we reach capacity every every time, okay. um, so it's, it's a uh, guaranteed uh, crowd to perform in front of, mm -hmm. um, even if uh, the artists may not bring their own. Okay. Um, we also uh, provide a, a signature drink for the main act, um, so you know, like catered to. Okay. Um, tonight we have Old Grape Dog. We have a drink, mm -hmm. simple, uh, signature after him. Did you say if you perform and you get, well, if you get selected, that you get a drink named after you for the evening? You get a drink named after you for the evening. Okay, so you already given the experience <laughs> of the lifestyle as one has been subscribed to perform. That's actually kind of dope, man, because you get a chance to be selected, perform, and you get a drink named after you. I think oh, that's yeah. really cool. You know, <laughs> that's an interesting twist. I like that, though. Um, but it seems like you got a lot going on. Um, where should people chime in to be contestants? Where can they find, or where can they sign up at, or where can they reach the, you at to be able to uh, the brand, get in rotation? The brand PDX on IG. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an IG page. Uh, we're growing it. Um, just reach out. Uh, we, 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 we reply, we follow back, um, all of that. So as long as you send a uh, inquiry mm -hmm. uh, to the DM, slide in the DMs. Okay, okay. Well, look, man, I thank you. I know you got to get set up. I know I know the team is, is, is working and doing everything. I appreciate your time. I know you got some stuff that's going to be releasing, so we're going to have to do another interview. Uh -huh. um, and okay. thank you thank okay. you for your time. It's appreciated. I'm looking for good things from you, and I appreciate you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you. again, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, Shad, Sia, Highness, P-Town Media, the P-Town Media Show. Please stay locked. Content is always coming. Like the YouTube page, like the Facebook page. I just want to encourage you to do that because there's so much stuff going on and you want to stay in the loop. And we're updating every time we hear something, hear something in the community, exclusive events, supporting each other, we're there we're on top of it. So make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next show. Yeah, six phone pop, hey, that's a throwback. Hey, I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Hey, hey, you don't know about that classic music, man. I wish I was a little bit taller. Hey, hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But look, I really just want to encourage y'all, man. I know the song says, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. But I just want to encourage you and let you know that you are exactly who God created you to be. Don't compare yourself to no one. Don't 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 look at him and say I want to be like him. Don't look at her and say I wish I was like her. You be exactly who God called you to be. Who God called you to be. Jeremiah chapter 1 it says before the foundation of this world I knew you and I predestined you. God predestined you to be great. He predestined you to be exactly who you are and do exactly what only you can do. So don't compare yourself to no one. Forget about uh, uh, looking at people and saying, I wish I could be like that or or comparing yourself to people. That's the biggest mistake we can make is the comparison of ourselves to someone else. No one can be the best you other than you. You get that? No one in this world can be a better you than you can be than you can be. Like I said, Jeremiah chapter one, it says, before the foundation of the world, I knew you and I predestined you. What that means is the relationship that God had with you before the foundation of the world, based on, on the characteristics that you show God in that relationship, God predestined you to be who you are today. So some of you had the characteristics of a pastor, of an apostle, of a prophet, of a teacher, of an evangelist. God is saying, based on the 
characteristics that you showed me in the relationship that we have before the foundation of this world, that's what I predestined you to be. So be great, love God, love people, and salute P-Town Media. Show your support. One love. God. It's like January uh, 29th, 27th, is it 27th? Right, Man, we here at the Marriott. I'm about to give my girl a promise ring, you know, the first huge step and everything. Fuck, I'm nervous as shit, bro. I got her this little card. Yeah. Yep, yep, wrote a little thing in there. You know, y'all don't need to read that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and I got her this ring, see, I don't know. Yeah, we about to go upstairs, surprise her. She didn't even know what's happening. We went to Salt and Straw. Went to Omzi. We got matching tattoos and shit. I can't show you right now because I got a button up and shit. But we got a dinner reservation later at Departure and we're at the Marriott right now. Uh, got a view and shit. So, I mean, we're gonna go upstairs. She's getting ready right now. Don't know what's gonna happen. Let's go surprise her, man. Yeah. Now, look. I probably know what you used to because I ain't really got it like that, but heard you gotta stay down to come up, so down the ride. Hey, I've been trying to ball no layup, so I'm a lot shot, but I made it. Yeah, and to be honest, I haven't even started on the court side, but it keeps it wavy. I'm so cute. So I just wanted to give you something because I love you. Yeah. I just been thinking about it a long time. So. I wrote everything that I really want to tell you in the card, so just read it. Open this. <laughs> you need help? Yeah, we hope not. Yeah. I'm sorry. Putting this down. What? You like it? 
I love this <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you. It's just a promise, man. This is so It's a promise that I'm going to marry you. I love you. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> Crush your locks, knowing that you wanna G up in your spot. Cause when I hit it, got you waiter, that's a curry shot. Got me choose a pick, you cause that's a pick and pop. And I'm a 90s baby, a Portland native, so I've been getting high. It's an understatement, so what you wanna do? Girl, we can make a move. Something like Bonnie and Clyde and get this money too. Cause, hey, I've been trying to ball no layups, so I'm a long shot, but I made it. Yeah, and to be honest, I haven't even started on the court side, but it keeps it wavy. Cause I've been trying to ball no layup, so I'm a lot shot, but I made it. Yeah, and to be honest, I haven't even started on the court side, but it keeps it wavy. So just tell me what you want, girl. I tell a player what you want. tell y'all god is really good and for anybody who was around here if you from portland oregon i'm from born and raised right here i'm telling y'all i'm in my city and everybody was around here talking about cat like cat wasn't gonna get free or some real shit man y'all is tripping man my city is a beautiful city but look at what i done bumped look at who i done bumped into because the boys in the hood is always hard here. come talking that trash we'll pull your car Knowing nothing in life but to be legit, but don't quote me, boy, because I ain't said shit. So look, um, here's what happened. I knew there was a show in Portland. I knew somebody wasn't going to be able to make it. I wanted to be there. I called a private jet from Los Angeles. First, I flew, I mean, I drove five hours from Vegas to L.A., got to the Clearport got on a private jet to fly to Portland. It's a two hour flight. I was there at 7.30. I'm supposed to land anywhere between 9.30 and 10.30. When I land, I get off the plane, it's raining. I got my service dog with me. They begin to load the vehicle. The dude says, was y'all drinking on the plane? I said, sir, that's a weird question for a driver to ask. What are you talking about? He said, oh, I was just wondering. Then he waits for us to load the stuff in. He says, um, the dog can't ride in here though because I got another pickup. I said, sir, this is a service dog. This dog has been to Afghanistan. You can clearly see his vest and you have to talk to the Department of Justice to deny a service dog. He says, I don't give a fuck about you or that dog. I'm telling you, he not getting in my vehicle. 45 minutes later, after everything is loaded in his vehicle, other than the dog and the people, he then says, and that dog crate can't come in here either. Matter of fact, get all your shit out of my truck. Now I've been on the tarmac in the rain for 40 minutes while people think I don't have the decency to show up. Not to mention the little chizek I came to pick up. Not to mention my private flight out of my pocket to be there. 
I don't treat my fans like that. And if my, if my fans think I treat them like that, they're not my fans yet. I only care about the people that care about me and nothing else. I don't have no boss. I don't have no manager. I don't have no business manager. I came to Portland with no security. Three nice black ladies. That's who accompanied me and one service dog. So, uh, I travel with the Holy Spirit and occasionally a weapon. I'm not angry about anything and I wasn't angry. I just thought the dude was prejudiced and he wasn't. He was prejudiced against the dog. I later find out there's a religion that don't like dogs. I ain't know that either. Then he says I called him white trash, but he didn't even look white. My pilot was white. The co-pilot was white. The people loading the uh, vehicle were white. Why, why wouldn't I have said that to them? Anybody who knows me knows I'm not racist. But now if you want to categorize me as not the nigga to fuck with, or a nigga who's not scared of what the consequence is going to be for doing the right thing, then so be it. I'm only trying to get to heaven. I'm not trying to get to where you are. And if I've let you down in any way, shape, form, or fashion, first, accept my apology. And second, you could be a fan of Kevin Hart's and not have to deal with none of this real nigga shit. You ain't really got to like me. You got plenty <laughs> options. If you like puppets, get you one. But if you... I'm a father of seven. I don't care what nobody say about me. You can't even go on the internet and find my babies. You know how hard that is in this industry? I got a virgin asshole. If I fart right now, it makes a loud noise. I don't mind being targeted. I'm just the right one for it. This Negro, though. <laughs> this Negro had my back so nicely on the internet in Portland that I literally was like... This nigga know me or something? Because there's a lot of people that know me and are owing me their lives at this moment that don't publicly speak in my defense. So for, um, and on behalf of all RNS all over the world, I thank you. I salute you. Free as a bird once again. You know what the did to. Cincinnati, Dayton, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Miami, and now. Portland Strong. Real talk. I know, man. I told you, real niggas around the world. And only God is real. So y'all remember that. <laughs> man, God is, hey, you can't fight God. It just won't happen. You won't win. Never. It'll never happen. You'll never win that. So this is what it look like, man, when you try to support people in your hood, boy. Put on the show, you play that music video on the show, man. Shout out to Ronnie, man. I'll let you boy. All right, y'all, and we back. Man, Portland is so dope to me, you know what I'm saying? We got dope food carts. We got some crazy dope artists out here, man. And we got some dope businesses out here, you know what I mean? 
boiling the smooth, man. So you gotta love it. With that being said, hey, check out these dope clips I done found around in Portland. You might like these. Take a look. <laughs> Trap houses are originally where they sell drugs. <laughs> it's a bad thing, but you know, I mean, we're, we, we turned it into something positive. But I still wanted that trap feel, you know, the, with the screen door and the roof and the, and the graffiti. Trap kitchen, it relates to, you know, hustling. It means to take risks and prosper. And I think celebrities got a hold of it. And then next thing you know, it's just they're catering and cooking for everybody. So the pineapple bowl consists of a half and gutted pineapple. You fill it with jasmine and rice, then you pick your protein, which can be shrimp, salmon, lobster, crab, chicken, steak. Then you top it with green onions. Then you come with, back with the sauce. We use sweet chili sauce. We use uh, pineapple ginger sauce. Then we garnish it with uh, pineapple chunks and, and sesame seeds. We have a lot of people that just come here and eat every day. Like to me, it's crazy, you know, being here and seeing it. Like you come here and eat every day, <laughs> you know, and they're like, yeah. They have like three or four different things they like on the menu and they're like, they just rotate it. I just want to remind y'all that my book is available. It's a book of poetry. It's on Amazon.com. It's called Rhyme Scheme Volume 1. You can also pick up Rhyme Scheme Sex, Love, and Situations Volume 1. I appreciate it. Visit my website, Lenterprises.net, and connect with me on all social media. Thank you. It's your boy Mookie. Make sure you go ahead and follow and check out Parlay Vodka. And that's what's popping in the town right now, man. Make sure you support everything that you got going in the road seat. Police on the streets of Miami. The Arizona body camera shows the deadly shooting of a in the shooting death of Anthony The judge said he couldn't say that the state had proved every element to murder. Things got ugly early as protesters clashed with police on the streets of St. Louis.
control Killing on sight. Oh, mercy. No, she said. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ace of Spade for the P-Town Media Show. Here to let you know to drink wise and be responsible. Yo, the holidays is coming up, so you know we like to turn up, right? Go ahead and take a look at Rex Whiskey. Rex Whiskey is local, right here from Portland, Oregon. You can find them on Facebook.com. Why don't you like and follow their page so you can find out more about how you can add this particular whiskey into your collection. I got it in mine. Got to have it in yours. Make sure you stop by the website, www.ptownmedia.com. Make sure you like and follow the page. We got more coming. Holla. Shadow boxers and future shadow boxers. I welcome you to experience beauty in your own way at our salon. I am Charlisa Harris, the proud owner and lead stylist at Shadow Box Salon. Our focus is providing beauty that is catered to you as the individual. We feature anything from relaxers to chemical free straightening treatments, natural hair care services, and commercial integrations or known to others as weaves. At Shadowbox Salon, we are proud to feature professional quality products, including our very own Shadowbox Luxury Brand System products. We feature anything from organic hair care butters to treatment oils to our moisturizing edge control, as well as our Shadowbox Luxury Brand System Virgin Extensions. Whether it be that you come and sit in our chair or you partake in our products online, we welcome you to experience beauty in a way that only Shadowbox can provide. At Shadowbox Salon, our motto is where beauty is an experience and you are sure to experience that whenever you come in. So we welcome you to come and get Shadowbox. See you in the chair. Alright y'all, and we back. And unfortunately, we finally come to that part of the show where your boy gotta go. And it's the part I really hate because I gotta roller skate. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, don't trip. I'll be back in two weeks. 
two weeks. Two weeks with another dope episode, all right? So don't even trip about none of that. Y'all can go to the website, ptimed.com, and y'all can look at some of the old episodes to find out more about what we got going on, all right? Now, hopefully y'all was able to pay attention to some of the commercials that y'all saw in this episode. All the commercials you saw were local. Everything that we got going on in this show is local. So that way you can appreciate, share, like, subscribe, and follow your local celebrities right here in the beautiful city of Portland, all right? So make sure you follow Rex Whiskey, Myru Vodka, Parlay Vodka. Drink responsibly, must be over 21 to purchase these things, but make sure you go follow them because why go buy some of these other brand vodkas and other liquors when y'all got local people right here who's just as dope. And to be honest with you, a lot of the times better. So anyway, with that being said, we're going to be back again next week with a dope episode of the P-Town Media Show. Make sure you go to the website, that's www.ptownmedia.com. Y'all like and subscribe to the Facebook page. Thank you for helping us get to over 9,000 followers information on Facebook that is who is looking at that which is those 9,000 people who are wonderfully following our page and paying attention to the things that we do so with that being said I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart all right so we'll be back next week stay tuned so next time y'all sweet time media show should put ace of spade keeping it raw and rugged <laughs> real time